Hey guys, this is Sean from SeanWithit.com and in this video I'm going to show you all of the tips, tricks and hidden features of Huawei Mate S. So you will be able to increase your productivity while using this device and most of these uh, features and tips and tricks are also applicable on any of the Huawei smartphones. So if you're having a Huawei P8 or Huawei Mate S or S and Mate 7, you can use most of these features and options on those smartphones as well. So any of the Huawei smartphone which is running on MUI 3.1, you can use this feature. So let's start it. Here is our Huawei Mate S and let's start with the screenshot if you want to take the screenshot how to do this it's uh, very easy actually all you have to do you have to press the power key and the volume down key together like this and a screenshot is taken as you can see here if you go to the gallery you will find the screenshot we have just taken this is a screenshot which we have just taken you can see the time is same to 18 and right now we are having 218 as well so this is an image you can customize it crop it and do whatever you want just like an image and uh, on Huawei Mate S actually there are four methods available to take this screenshot you can watch our uh, detailed video showing all of these four methods to take the screenshot on your screen uh, by just clicking on the link which is shown on this page right now and uh, Huawei Mate S also let you record the screen of your smartphone and uh, if you go to the gallery once again let me give an example here is a screen recording of uh, my Huawei Mate S it's, it's a video with sound as you can see here if you want to record the screen of your Huawei Mate S just click on the link appearing on the screen to see the tutorial how to do this exactly and uh, Huawei Mate S comes with a fingerprint scanner. So you should be already knowing that a fingerprint scanner is um, a, a device, a scanner which let you unlock your phone. But in Huawei Mate S, it is performing multiple tasks. For example, you can use the fingerprint scanner to scroll the images when you are in gallery. For example, here is the gallery and uh, I'm going to the magazine unlock folder for example here is the image which i have just opened and i want to scroll the images so instead of using my finger on the screen you can use the fingerprint scanner and scroll the images like this as you can see none of my fingers are on the screen and i'm using the fingerprint scanner to scroll the screen you can also use the fingerprint scanner to take the uh, images when you are using the camera application and uh, you can also use the fingerprint scanner to quickly access the notification and shortcut menu how to do this all you have to do just put your finger on the fingerprint scanner and swipe it up or down so if i am putting it on the scanner and just swiping it down the notification and the shortcut menu is coming so you can see that this fingerprint scanner on Huawei Mate S is having multiple features which is really useful and handy and uh, you can use the Huawei's phone manager section to lock any application here is the app lock section which let you lock any of the application available on your Huawei Mate S Huawei P8 smartphone so you can watch our detailed video about this how to set up the app lock on your Huawei Mate S and how to use this to lock any application you can also have a look on our video which explains the feature of drop zone management by clicking on the link appearing on the screen and uh, we have also posted a video that how to hide files like images videos audios of any kind of files by using Huawei's safe option which is available in the file manager here you can watch our video by clicking on the link appearing on the screen to see how to set up a safe on your Huawei smartphone and how to hide any kind of file inside this for your better privacy and security 
and uh, if we go to the settings you will find there is hell lots of features and uh, options available for you so if you go to the sim card management there are all the basic features but here is an option which says card one slot and card two slot so here you can select that for which sim card slot you want uh, 3g 4g to be used then under the wi-fi section here we are having one option called wi-fi plus and it says intelligently select wi-fi or mobile data network so if you turn it on depending on your wi-fi speed and strength and your mobile data connectivity it will decide whether to use the wi-fi for the internet connection or the mobile data so this is also a very nice feature on your Huawei Mate S and uh, if you go to the data traffic management you can have a look that how much data you are consuming and what applications are actually using your data and there is also a different section for 4G use that which application used how much 4G data you can see this list of all of the application and there is mobile hotspot so you can use this feature for uh, restricting the mobile hotspot usage and all and if you go to the network apps you will find an option to select that which application you want to be used on mobile data and which application you want to be used on Wi-Fi this is very good for example uh, there are lots of application which are running in the background or you do not want them to be used on your mobile data to save money so you can just select whether you want them to be used on mobile data or Wi-Fi for example right now I'm using all of them on mobile data and Wi-Fi because I'm having unlimited mobile data package but if you do not want them to be used you can just tap on them and uncheck them so they will be able to be use the data only on Wi-Fi connectivity so this is how you can manage you can also tap on system apps to do the same for the system applications and if you tap on traffic use ranking you can go to the either daily or monthly section to see that which application are consuming uh, how many data on mobile data and Wi-Fi you can see here is the mobile data icon here is the Wi-Fi connectivity icon and it will show you that on which type of connection how much data your application is using and if you tap on more here you will find there is link plus option available if you tap on it you can see once again there is Wi-Fi plus and signal plus so Wi-Fi plus is uh, exactly the same thing which I have told you already and signal plus is a nice feature which improves the connectivity of the uh, phone with the network it as you can see it is showing the message that receives signals from all direction to enhance signal stability if you tap on it you can see more detail about this feature here that if you use this feature and uh, uh, then it comes in handy when you are traveling in a fast uh, speed uh, car or train or whatever and once again here is the some usual options like mobile network selection here you will find lots of options like whether you want mobile data to be enabled mobile data always on and regarding the SMS access uh, APN access points and all those things there is tethering for USB connectivity and Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth tethering there is VPN NFC and cell broadcast which are pretty common Android features so let's not talk about them and if you go to the device section you will find home screen style and right now it's selected as a standard if you go inside you will find there are two options one is a standard another one is simple if you select the simple one your device will be simplified all of the apps and applications they will be invisible and you will get only basic applications like dialer messaging camera contacts music gallery so if you are going to uh, give this phone to an elderly person who is not able to use a smartphone you can give your Huawei smartphone to them in the simple mode and they will be able to use it perfectly for example I am selecting simple after that I am just tapping on apply let's see what's going to happen so this is the simplified Huawei Mate S right now as you can see 
there is just dollar messaging contacts camera music gallery and uh, calendar browser a standard home others download so if you tap on download you will see all of the application which i have downloaded if you go to the others you will see pre-installed application of huawei smartphone and there is settings which is also showing just the basic settings available if you go to the more settings you will get list of all of the settings you can also see that the font size is, is increased so you should be getting the idea that this uh, simple uh, mode is uh, basically for the elderly people and you can even add any application or uh, contact on the screen directly here as well and if you want to exit from it you can just tap on a standard home button and you will get the standard screen back once again so this is a very nice feature of huawei smartphone and uh, if you go to the display you will see there are lots of options available the very first one is color temperature if you tap on it you can see that there are three options like a warm cold and in the middle so you can choose the color temperature this is a very common option which is available on lumia devices since a very long time and now it's available on huawei smartphones as well you can just remove the default section and then you can move the slider and you can see that how the scene is changing based on that you can select this type of screen and display color temperature you want so i'm just selecting default once again let's go back here on the wallpaper section you can select the wallpaper either for the home screen and the lock screen as well so you can have a different lock screen wallpaper and the different home screen wallpaper then there is an option called shake to change and random change so if you select random change the wallpaper will be changed randomly and if you select shake to change if you shake your phone then the home screen wallpaper will be changed so these are a few interesting features on our Huawei Mate S. you can customize the font size you can change the font style as well right now there is just one font style available and uh, then there is indicator light whether you want caddy name to be displayed or not and then there is auto screen lock uh, auto rotate screen brightness and all which are pretty common features and if you go to the sound section you can find that there is volume you can select the volume for different type like whether for ringtone for media alarms and calls and uh, then there is silent mode vibration you can select different ringtone for both sim cards and whether you want the vibration or not for them and all of the basic basic uh, options like whether you want the screenshot sound to come or not when you are taking a screenshot screen lock sound and it's totally up to you and if you go to the storage section you will find the internal storage about the device and sd card it's once again pretty common feature but here is a good feature called a storage cleaner if you tap on it you will get the information that how much space is consumed of your phone storage and the memory card then there you will find lots of options like large file cleaners app package cleaner and infrequently used app so large file cleaner shows that all of the file size which are very big in size like all of the files which are having very huge file size so you can remove it if you want then there's app package cleaner what exactly it does if you are installing an apk an app from the apk then after installation the apk file is in, still there in your phone so if you want to remove it you can use this feature for example if i'm just tapping on it it will show all of the applications which i have installed on this device using an apk file and the apk file is still there so you can just tap on this clean button and delete all of these files to get some extra space and if there are applications which are not frequently used those are shown under infrequently used apps if you tap on it you can see that i'm not playing all of these games and they're occupying lots of space on my phone so if you want to delete you can delete them by just tapping on uninstall button after selecting them here so this is how you can use the storage cleaner to get some extra space on your Huawei smartphone if you go to the battery section you will find information about the battery here lots of battery application you can use the Huawei's power saving mode 
to improve the battery life. You can watch our video uh, about the power saving management, which is under phone manager. Here is the power saving mode. You can watch our video by clicking on the link appearing on the screen to how exactly use the power saving mode and how many different types of options are available for you to increase the battery life. Let's go back to the settings once again. And here is the power saving mode once again, separately. You can once again watch our previous video. Here is the screen lock and passwords. If you go here, you will find that which type of lock style you want on your uh, uh, lock screen. So right now it's default as you can see and you can select any lock screen out of these six. When it comes to password, you are having three options, pattern, pin, password. You can also use fingerprint scanner to unlock your device. And uh, then there are all of the basic features which are available on every Android smartphone. So let's not talk about them. For the location access, once again, we are having all the pretty common features, nothing special. There is a DND feature which let you use uh, do not disturb feature to get some privacy and some extra time and when you activate this you will not receive any call or message you can totally customize it when you want to schedule this like uh, you can use it immediately a schedule then you can define when you want it to be scheduled for example meeting during prayer times or when you are with your family so this is a very nice feature actually if you go to the security here you will find an encrypt phone option which says that it requires a numeric pin or password to decrypt your phone each time you power it on so if someone is going to uh, steal your phone and if you uh, they do not know the this numeric pin or password they will not able to use your phone because your whole phone is encrypted and the content inside it and uh, here you will find lots of options once again which are pretty much similar in any of the android smartphone And here is the fingerprint ID where you can use the fingerprint scanner. And you can see here that how many options you are having for the fingerprint scanner. You can answer the call, you can take photos and videos, you can stop alarm, you can show notification panel as I have already showed you. You can even browse photos in the gallery. So these are options I have already shown you. You can also answer call and stop alarm by using the fingerprint scanner on your Huawei Mate S smartphone. And if you go to the fingerprint management, you will be able to uh, use it. You can select pin or password. You can activate it and you can also have multiple users. It's a very nice feature actually. If you want to perform a hard reset of your phone, you can use the backup and reset section. You can click the link appearing on the screen to see how to uh, exactly perform a factory data reset on your Huawei smartphone and here is the account section obviously it's pretty common so let's move it if you go to the manage app section here you can see all of the application in installed on your phone you can see which applications are running you can also get the amount of RAM available on your phone and how much RAM is consumed by which application you can see here you can also check which applications are installed on SD card and which applications are downloaded from a third party app store or something. If you go back in the network apps, once again, you will get the uh, app, uh, information that which application is running on mobile data and which application is running on Wi Fi. So I have already told you about this. You can use it if you want. If you go to the more section, you will find three options call, message, and email. So you can customize this section as well like whether you want virtual hd calls for better sound quality and uh, if you activate power button and call if you receive a call and just press the power button the call will be cancelled and rest of the apply uh, options and features are pretty much similar to uh, any of the android smartphones so you can have a look on by yourself once again here is the option for messages like whether you want uh, signature to be attached, pop-up message, message preview you want or not, what is the ringtone which you want for your uh, messages. You can also delete all messages after a time. You can, if you activate it, 
it will ask that how many uh, text message limit you want to assign for this section and how much MMS so you can use it to automatically delete the messages once it is reaching a limit for example right now it's 500 you can assign it like 100 or 200 depending how many messages you are getting every day and if you go to the advanced section here just tap on advanced you will get the option for delivery report and uh, use the message center and storage location as well whether you want your messages to be saved on phone memory or the sd card once again all pretty much similar options like delivery report read reports and all if you go to the email section you can assign any of these um, email if you are having a business account you can use the Excel server or you can use gmail hotmail and yahoo if you're having any other email account you can use others and customize it by yourself here so let's go back from here and here comes the one of the most interesting section of Huawei smartphone Huawei made us that's smart assistance here is a voice wake up feature which let you control your phone by your voice so if you just say okay Amy after activating this feature your phone will start ringing and it will show you that where is the phone exactly it will also sing it pretty well that here I am here I am like this <laughs> so it's a very nice feature you uh, your phone detects your voice if you are uh, putting your phone somewhere you're not able to find it you can just say okay Amy and the phone will respond to your voice then there is motion control you can watch our previous video in which we have shown that how you can use these motion control and gesture settings perfectly to perform multiple kind of tasks by clicking on the link appearing on the screen so just go through it and you will get the idea of how productive this feature is also you can customize the navigation bar on your Huawei Mate S or any of the Huawei smartphone right now as you can see I'm having three keys on my navigation panel here but you can also customize it the way you want you can have four keys and you can even customize um, the pattern in which they are appearing so this is a very nice feature as well for the navigation bar customization and then there is one hand UI for example this is a big phone it's having 5.5 inches screen so if you turn it on one hand layout you can see that you can just swipe from the edge of the screen and the screen will be reduced like this so this is a very nice feature as well especially for the people who are having smaller hands and you can also use the same feature for shifting keyboard so if you just turn it on you can see that the keyboard will move from one edge of the screen it will be smaller so you will be able to use it very easily so this is a very nice feature as well on your Huawei smartphone and here comes the dual windows feature as the name suggests you can use two windows at the very same time on your Huawei Mate S smartphone and uh, but you have to keep this thing in mind that not all of the applications are supported for dual windows feature so you can use this very well if the app is supported and it's a very productive feature as well so all you have to do you can see that you have to just tap on the home key and then you can select that which application you want to drag and drop on the screen and it will show you how to use the dual windows feature it's very very nice and once again if you go to the more section you will find lots of option here like suspend button right now the suspense button is off let me show you how it works if you turn it on you can see now right now here is the suspend button so if you tap on it you can see the navigation keys are there and few extra options like locking the screen and all so this is a very nice feature as well you can have the navigation key any part of the screen you can just drag and drop it wherever you want here or here so this is also a very nice feature and if you go back there is a smart cover feature as well where you will be able to use it if you are having a smart cover on your phone then there is a smart headset control you can assign to perform some particular task by using the keys on your uh, headset you can see here as it shows that for example you can use the headset control 
to add a song to your favorites or just switch playback mode when Huawei music is used. So this is also a very nice feature of Huawei Mate is there is touch, uh, touch disable mode and gloves mode as well. If you're going to use the phone while wearing the gloves, you can activate it and it will respond pretty well uh, on the touch screen. And uh, then there are lots of uh, common features like date and time all pretty common feature language and input once again you're having all of these features on every another smartphone so if you go to the about phone section you will find lots of information about your Huawei smartphone for example the processor use the amount of RAM internal storage the Android version the screen resolution color versions and all so this is all about the features and functionality of our Huawei Mate S or any of the Huawei smartphone and you can use them to improve your productivity while using these smartphones. So thanks for watching the video friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos, tips and tricks and hands-on reviews like this. Have a nice day.